it is a widely, if reluctantly, acknowledged fact that, similar to a good wine, there is a particular kind of man who only becomes better with age. It's incredible to consider that Brad Pitt, who portrayed the Admiral Cowboy in the feminist road film Thelma and Louise, and initially made women and perhaps a good number of men sit up straighter in their seats, is sixty years old today. I have to admit that the Oscar-winning father of six carries his age very lightly, considering him to be his, nearly, astral twin. Naturally, it is beneficial that he has maintained his hair and hasn't let himself go in terms of his weight. This might be because he stopped drinking and, it seems, has been eating vegan food for the last six years. Nonetheless, he does not live a completely depressing life because he has recently met a 32-year-old woman. Maybe she's keeping him youthful. It's possible that some adjustments were made, but they were subtle in nature. Pitt doesn't have the same waxy shine as Simon Cowell, Putin, or Nicole Kidman. The last time I saw him on screen in Babylon, all of his facial muscles appeared to be moving. My assumption is that Pitt's youthful appearance, even at 60, is a result of his genetic makeup. Once, when he was in his 30s and dating Gwyneth Paltrow, I ran into him on a movie set. Pitt appears almost exactly the same off-screen as he does on, in contrast to many movie stars who end up being little in real life. Standing at six feet, he exudes a sense of ease and comfort that sets him apart from many actors who appear uncomfortable when not playing a character. Pitt portrayed Benjamin Button in a film, a guy who is born an elderly man but matures backwards, becoming younger as time goes on. Looking back, Pitt's portrayal looks remarkably prophetic. Looking back at his role in Thelma and Louise, I believe that I actually like him better at sixty than at thirty. His appearance in that movie was that of a drifting angel, but now his baby face has pleasantly aged, and he appears incredibly human. Additionally, he has moved past the regrettable phase of bluster and has thrown off the bucket hat. In contrast to Tom Cruise, who appears to be in his sixties, Brad Pitt has grown from being a boy to a man. Pitt's continued excellent looks could also be attributed to the fact that he is no longer dating an actress. Pitt's first marriage to Jennifer Aniston, the American beauty, ended after he developed feelings for Angelina Jolie, his co-star in Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Together, they became parents to three biological children and two adopted children. She had adopted one child before to their relationship, whom Brad subsequently adopted. Their marriage is well known for ending in discord, and it appears that Pitt's drinking was a contributing factor. He has openly discussed attending AA and how he and Anthony Hopkins, his co-star in Legends of the Fall, have come to terms with their shared drug issues. Pitt's visage, nevertheless, doesn't appear to be affected by all of this chaos. Pitt must have been a really good man in a previous life if by the age of sixty a man has the looks he deserves. In addition to being twenty-nine years younger, Inez de Ramon, Pitt's new flame, designs jewellery which sounds quite non-neurotic. Although the world adores a movie star couple like Brangelina, the constant attention may be quite taxing on a relationship unless one partner is willing to take a less prominent role. When Jolie and Pitt first started dating, they essentially shared equal billing as celebrities who could open a film. However, while Pitt has since moved on to do some of his best work and win an Academy Award for his hilarious role as a stuntman in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Jolie's most recent big-screen success was the 2014 release of Maleficent, the Disney prequel to Sleeping Beauty. It is unlikely that a marriage between a well-known, attractive, and ambitious person like you will succeed. Paul Newman and Joanne Woodward's marriage was one of the few in the entertainment industry to endure over time. This may have been due to Woodward's lack of jealousy towards her husband's success or her realization that he would never be able to outdo her. Why go out to eat when you can have steak at home? He famously remarked. I wonder whether at 60, 
Pitt still views himself as a sex symbol. He will always rank in the top ten for women of my generation, and he has held up considerably better than my other major crush, Russell Crowe. I understand that if I came across a male writer who ranked female celebrities according to how well they aged, I would be the first to scream in protest. It is insulting to discuss Pitt only in terms of his appearance, ignoring his acting prowess, financial savvy, and significant charitable influence. However, I have a feeling that Pitt doesn't give a damn. In most cases, men who are born with that kind of genetic advantage don't worry too much. They go to bed with Gilda, but they wake up with me, remarked Rita Hayworth, the well-known red-headed Hollywood diva who played a vamp in Gilda. I have met very few gorgeous women who aren't at least somewhat insecure about their beauty. Beautiful guys, deep down, know that they deserve to be beautiful, therefore they don't worry about being objectified in the same manner. It's specific to men. Thus, Brad, happy birthday. Remain true to your kale and relish your special day, secure in the knowledge that you can still succeed. I doubt that you are making a lot of men in their midlife feel insecure.